This is video two to my daily range breakout system tutorial. If you haven't seen the first one yet, there'll be a link down below, so have a look at that. You can have a look at the, the free PDF guide that takes you through it as well. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about all about strategy, all about the entries, exits, profit taking, all that sort of good stuff. So essentially what we're gonna be looking for on the chart is an inside day. Now, this is a daily chart, so these are these are daily bar charts. And we want to be looking for an inside day. Now an inside day bar is when the the price action of the day is within the price action of the previous day. So technically the high of the day is lower than the high of the previous day, and the low of the day is higher than the low of the previous day. So how does that look? I'll show you on the chart. Just quickly drawn this up. So here, we, the first inside day on our chart is this, is this bar here. This is an inside day. So that's because the high here and the low here is within the range of its previous bar. So now that, literally, you can spot that within seconds. So that is, that's the setup for our, for our trade, for our, trade on the, on the daily range breakout. So entry orders, we, we're not, with this strategy, we don't enter the market manually. What we do is we set orders to enter when the price hits a certain level. Now what we do is we use stop orders. You can use limit orders as well, but I don't recommend that. That won't work with this system. We want to be using stop orders to get into the market. So what we need to do is to enter the market, to enter the trade, we look, for the high price of the day, and we look for the low price of the day, and then we place two separate orders. So, if we are going to, we place one order to go long or to buy. Now, that will be a stop buy order. At we look for the high, and we place the order a few pips or a few points above that high. I typically use four. It may be a bit too many. You could probably use two, but I use four just to be just to make sure. So. The higher the day, we add on an extra four points, and then that's that is our buy, that's our stop buy level. So then on that order we're gonna need a stop loss. So if the market goes against us, we're gonna stop out and cut our losses. So th this is our buy four points above the high. Our stop loss is quite simply the opposite. We look for the low price and we add on four points below the low, lower than the low. So our buy is just above the high, and our stop loss is just below the low. Below the low. That's our one order, that's our first order. Now we're gonna actually put in a second order for the same trade. Now, it's exactly the opposite. It's an order to go short or to short sell the market. So exactly the opposite. We look for the low, so now this is our entry. So we're gonna put in a stop sell order to enter the market if price comes below this level and our stop loss is the opposite it's just above the high so they're kind of opposite orders um, so the beauty of it is we don't need, need to know we don't need to try and determine which way we think the market's going to go the following day because if there is a big move it just gets us in on the right side of the market it, it's that it's that easy and it's that simple so what we do is we look at what would have happened the next day so uh, so the market opened on the day of the inside day, it opened here, it traded up probably, came down, and then traded about level, and this is, this is the closing price. So around in the evening, when we're looking to do our orders, we look for the high, look for the low, place our orders. The next day, at some point during the day, we don't need to know what point during the day, because it's all automatic some point during the day, the price is open here, they probably traded up a little bit in the morning and then continued just to fall during the day. Now when this market fell here, it would have triggered us in to our order to sell short there. So we would have been in short here, so that's just the one, that's just one order. We did have a buy order in remember, but to trigger that buy order up here, the price would have had to have gone above this level, which it never did. So that order never gets triggered. We need to delete that at the end of the, at the, end of the next day. 
So we're into this, this short sell order. We've shorted the market. Don't forget our stop loss is here. So we're in here, our stop loss is up there. If the market suddenly turns around and goes against us, we're gonna get out for a small loss. Now, profit taking. What we do, same time the next day, when we look for our orders, on this day, we're gonna be looking at the charts again for, for any new orders, but also we're gonna be looking at closing out any existing, or any existing trades that were triggered during the day, like this one. So, at, at, towards the end of the day, we look we look at this open position and we just manually close out, use a market order, just manually take profit. So, in fact, so the profit for that trade would have been around about this closing price down here. So, we would have, we would have got in there, we would have traded the market down to this price and closed out. So it's that simple. That's all. That's all we do. Um, so we look, look at another example very quickly. I'm just going to demonstrate the reason I use two orders, uh, so I can catch the trend either way. So now this is an inside day as well. You can see that obviously because the price action is within the price action of that previous day. Now something different happened here. So we've got our buy order just above here with our stop loss just below so if the market goes up we trigger in here and we've got our sell short order like we had here just below there so if the market trades down we get in on the short with a stop loss just here now what happened here on this day is the market opened opened here and then it traded down triggering our short trade there so now we're in the market, we've short sold the market, but our stop loss is up here, remember? So the market's traded down, it hasn't gone very far, so it hasn't taken us very far in the profit before it's returned and then started climbing for the day. But obviously, as soon as we get, as soon as it comes down, as soon as we get to this point and we're on the way up, we're losing money. So we're losing money all the way and then eventually we actually get stopped out so we stopped out at a loss here. So we've taken a small loss. Now, if that was your only trade, then you would have had to take a loss for the day and just, well, that's what happens. You, you know, you get losing days. However, because we've got two markets in the order, we can actually either really decrease the loss or we can actually end up making money for the day with the second order. Because we've got a second order, not only not only is our first short trade closed out for a loss here, but we actually enter a new trade to go long here as well. So suddenly the market's come up, we've triggered a new long trade. So we're long now, all the way up here. Our long, the stop loss is down here. So the market's come up, we've got in the market, we got out of our short trade for a small loss there, and we're in the market for our new, our new buyer, our new long, and then at the end of the day, around about the closing price, we close out. So, in fact, just quickly looking at the proportions on this, on this diagram, we've lost, we actually lost that much of the trade on the short, but we actually made a little bit um, on the long as well. So, we probably wouldn't have made money overall, but we would have seriously reduced that first initial loss on that short trade. And that's that's really the beauty of, of this system. You don't need to know which way the market goes. It just goes with the market. It just goes with with the direction. So that's that's the technique of the, of the uh, strategy. That's how to spot the trades, how to, you know, to enter using uh, stop buy or stop sell orders, you know where to place your stop loss and you know to take your profit manually at the end of the next day, which is typically about 24 hours time. Okay, on the next video, I'm gonna go over a bit of um, position sizing, show you uh, exactly how, how much to put on per trade. I'll see you on the next one.